Friday. So today we're on our way to the Weave at Angkor. We got invited to participate in this um, staycation. Um, so we'll have activities and I'll stay there overnight. So the Weave at Angkor is like a co-living space where you can have your own bedroom and I, I believe you can have an ensuite uh, bathroom or uh, yeah or toilet and then you got to share the common area like the living room the kitchen things like that kind of like what i have been doing this past few years with my family co-living um, yeah that's what they call it nowadays so i'm all packed for this overnight um stay and i'm ready let's go Okay, so di ba, dala ko na rin pati yung mga paninda ko. Hindi, <laughs> ito. Ito, these are deliveries for tomorrow. I got my deliveries for tomorrow and also my backpack. Tapos, for the first time ever for a long, long time, um, finally wearing my sneakers. Lala, feeling ko lang, ano, sumigap siya. <laughs> Ganun. Alright, so we're on our way to the train station. I canceled one of my appointments today because I said I didn't want to do and I had this budding headache. So anyway. So we took the train to the Olympic station at the yellow line. I haven't really been here before. Where could it be? I think I'm lost. So according to Google Map, we're on the right direction and it's just around the corner. I think that's the building. That's the building. Finally, after months, after months of staying at home, I'm finally having this really nice, comfy bed. Okay, let's put our bags down first because it's really heavy carrying this all around. Um, it is like a confusion because I received a two days, two days program, and I was like, "Am I? Am I? Okay, wait, hold on. There's a sticker in my hair. All right, see." Here's their gift to me. Oh, so cool. But I'm not me. I am Cindy. <laughs> Oops. It's not me. But I got the keys. Thank you, though. Alright. So this is Weave on Anchor. are the type of rooms that they have. We just had a tour and I saw the living room. It's just not allowed to, to take videos but maybe later we'll have um, more chance to sneak in. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. And the laundry. Crazy. Oh, I love notepads. Thank you so, so, so much. And then let's try to open this closet here. Find a mirror over here. There you go. And there's the fridge. Very important. Oh, open up. Oh. It's empty. But I can imagine myself like putting um putting ice cream in it. Okay, let's have a look at the bathroom. Turn the lights on. Okay, this is the toilet. In the rain shower. Shower. Awesome. 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 So at 8 p.m. we're scheduled to um, to have this pizza making activity. Um, they actually sent me, they actually gave me this welcome packet. So let's open this up and then find if it's uh, the schedule that we've signed up for. In my head, I was like, I was supposed to stay here for a night, right? A 
and then I saw the schedule that there's actually two nights. OMG. <laughs> but anyway, that girl who, who was doing the tour, she said she'll get back to me. Do I want my wearing this mask? <laughs> so that girl, she said that she's going to get back to me and reconfirm if I'm going to stay for one night or two nights. Um, but in this schedule, we've got two nights. Okay, actually three days of, three days of program. So, so actually, I was supposed to stay here for two nights. Okay, have a look. This is the schedule. So, welcome drinks, make pizza with black ship, movie night, breakfast, yoga, dim sum, and this circuit training. I think I just bought one underwear with me. Okay, there's also the coffee. There's also a coffee workshop. Oh, and I need this in my life. Yeah, okay. Thank you to all the sponsors. And then this one. Out. Door? Okay. Now just leave it like this. Okay. The flower, you just move it on a on a side because the one the person right after you will Okay. Then uh, I believe all of you see there should be one, two, three. I'm the worst. A little spoon close to the close to the wall, right? Fantastic. So with this spoon we're gonna use it for the tomatoes. So, a little things that you do not do is when you put down the sauce, don't do this. If you do this, then this one will be curry. So once you cook it, all the tomato goes down everywhere. It will be a little mess. So just, I do like this. And then you just spread it with the bottom part of the tomatoes. Of the spoon, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Grace, I'm so lucky the chef is helping you. <laughs> maybe you should marry him. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we're supposed to massage it. Yeah, I know, that's really like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I have so much power. <laughs> <laughs> Water. So just one by one, yeah, one by two, two, three, four, four pieces. Yes? Oh, okay. I want to share it. This is where? No. Spoon is missing. It's okay. If you don't mind, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Try to take out a little bit of this flower. The flower. Alright, right, right. Okay, yeah. then. And then back here. Okay. So basically, if it's underneath, fine. But if it's on top, then you will eat it a raw flower. Okay. So it's easy, okay. like this, easier to digest. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that, just take the tomato over, you scoop it on top, uh -huh. and then you try to move it on. Okay. Anywhere you like. Yeah. Count it. I don't know. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot uh, do 
it like the one you want to eat, right? No. Yeah? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Ooh, amazing. Okay, so today we'll try our pizza. How is it? Really nice. <laughs> so we reached a room. <laughs> We're now in the comfort of our bed. Um, it has been a long night. We had pizza making workshop. And then at the same time we had dinner and we had tiramisu and we had what else? Wine? Um, and good conversation. Wow, I hadn't had this for a long time. And also we watch, uh, we had a little bit of a um, movie night. Um, I left after half an hour because I've already watched, um, I've already watched Deadpool. I don't want to be a killjoy or anything, but it's already past my bedtime. Um, I usually sleep at 12. I usually sleep at 12. And so I knew that, okay, by 11, oh my god, I'm so tita. I'm so tita right now. <laughs> by 11 p.m., I have to have my, you know, my, my nightly routine. I have to have my shower. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And then I just have to get ready to bed at 12. That's kind of like my life right now. And, you know, the funny thing is um, I've met a lot of people and these people, they're a lot younger than me. Not a lot younger, but um, yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're young. Yeah, <laughs> I almost walked out of there. No, I'm kidding. Come on, you guys. I'm not that old, but um, I had fun. Um, as I've mentioned, this is like a hostel upgraded level hostel a five-star hostel that's that's how i should describe it um but anyway tomorrow is another day of activities i've got to get ready um and actually it's uh actually the activities are not compulsory so it's all right to um to to you know go around hong kong and still come back here in the evening but it has been fun so just want to show you my room here, my view, TV, I so love the desk, it's a very minimalistic desk, and okay, let me show you the one on top of the bed. There is a place where I can put my books, and look, there is a lampshade, see? It's very well designed. Everything is um, well thought of. And here you can find a charger, you know, um, where you can put your phone. And here's a little drawer here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. This is like a dream... Dream room? <laughs> dream bedroom for me. Alright, so we're finally back in our room and I just had lunch, then some lunch and I had a chance to talk again with some of the other um, people who got invited for a staycation here. It was, you know, kind of, uh, it was a fun experience I would say because co-living experience, um, you have a chance to meet other people, you know, most especially those people who have the same mindset, those people who have the same um, you know, open mindset to, to this kind of living. And you know what that means? That means people who loves to talk to other people, people who wants to um, get to know more people um, through this uh, living um, area. So something like that. So, you know what I noticed here while during my stay, I still have another night. So maybe I'll have more opinion about living um, yeah actually it was fun 
We had uh, yoga this morning, followed by breakfast. No, 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 we had breakfast first. And so that was my our first chance to collaborate. And then the yoga, which is another chance to, you know, to, get, to get physical, um, to exercise, to stretch. And uh, we were given an opportunity to have um, partners as well so parang kumbaga after several months of you know being yourself like okay kasi for example sa akin wala namang humahawak sa akin eh. wala namang um wala namang yumayakap sa akin or uh, unless i go to the uh, massage places but they have been close to for quite some time now so yun hindi rin siya hindi rin siya ganun kadali and then um I, I, yeah. So after several months of um, not having someone to, you know, just as simple as holding your hand, and today like, wow, okay, someone held my hand. Okay, it was a girl, so don't think too much. But uh, you know, it, it felt really all oh, different. Iba talaga kapag uh, iba talaga kapag meron kayong chance or ways or opportunities to to be social, to talk to people, you know, just as simple as holding each other's hands, exercising together, you know, this spirit of camaraderie, um, yun, iba, iba, kumpara sa without it. So, kung ako yung tatanungin mo, what's life after the pandemic? Um, Okay, for once, I don't really believe in online classes because um, students get less inspired. Um, like for example, yun na yung kapatid ko, kapatid ko, he's, he's back in school and back in online school actually. So I am not sure how effective it is, but I don't think it's it's the same way, you know, um, if you just see people on screens. I'm sure, I'm sure one day it will all be back. I'm sure that one day travel will be back, you know, um, being social will be back because it's it's already back here in Hong Kong. Pero yun nga lang, unti-unti and still with some precautions. So, well, let's just see what's gonna happen in the next several months. Um, for me, I really want to get on with my, with my plan to travel around the world, um, to get into Russia, and finally get there. So, yun lang naman yung mga reflections ko um, from this experience. So, today I'm just waiting for my friend's call kasi it was raining earlier, like really, really heavy rain. We're planning to go to this flower market in Prince, in Prince Edward. Pero, let's see. I just hope that she's not so late and that we can still catch some fresh flowers. So I'm walking back to Olympic Station. Finally, the weather is getting better. I'll be meeting my friend Chris. So watch out for part two next week. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!